We're looking at triad exercise 1.1.7. We're asked to solve the equation 6 times p minus 3 minus 7 equals 5 times 4p plus 3 minus 12. And if you'll notice with these subsequent equations, with these sub subsequent exercises, the process is essentially the same. We're just making them a little bit more complicated uh, with each step. In this case, we have to distribute on both sides first in order to simplify uh, before we move on to the next step. So we'll distribute the 6 on the left-hand side first. That gives us 6p minus 18 minus 7 equals, and then distributing the 5 on the right-hand side, 20p plus 15 minus 12. And we'll go ahead and combine like terms, in this case the constants on both sides. So 6p minus 18 minus 7 is minus 25 equals 20p, and then 15 minus 12 is 3. Now you could move the variable to the left hand side, it, variable terms to the left hand side if that's what you're most comfortable with. What we're showing in this example, so we don't have to deal with a negative value in front of the variable term, we'll subtract 6p from both sides first and we'll move the variable terms to the right hand side. So minus 6p, minus 6p, we end up with negative 25 equals 14 p plus 3. Then we'll subtract 3 from both sides to isolate the variable term on one side. So negative 28 equals 14 p. And finally dividing both sides by 14 we end up with p equals negative 2. As always we will check our solution by substituting into the original equation and making sure that uh, it ends up with a true statement. So our check, 6 times, and then we found p to be negative 2. So 6 times negative 2 minus 3 inside the parentheses minus 7. And we want to know, does that equal 5 times 4 times p, which again is negative 2, plus 3 inside the parentheses, and then minus 12. So then we just follow the order of operations. Negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5. Still subtracting 7. And we want to know, does that equal 5 times... 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Plus 3 is negative 5. And again, just so you can see, this is negative 8. We're still adding 3. And negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5. Minus 12. Again, we're still verifying. So I'm putting a question mark there. So this is negative 30 minus 7. Does that equal 5 times negative 5 is negative 25 minus 12. And we do end up with the same value on both sides. Negative 37 equals negative 37. So our solution does check. And we verified that P does equal negative 2. When P equals negative 2, then the original equation that we have is true. So it is a solution to the equation.